Hi, my name is Lindsay, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. Today we are going to set up our own tool crib, a custom tool crib within SolidWorks CAM. So I'm going to go into my SolidWorks CAM tab in the Command Manager, and I'm going to go ahead and select the Technology Database, and this is where we're going to set up our tool crib. So I'll select Technology Database, and it's going to open up into my Mill tab. I'm going to cover how to set up a milling tool crib, However, this is all the same steps if I was to do this in turning as well. So you'll see the tool cribs on the right hand side. I've also got the tool cribs for milling on the right hand side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select tool crib one and you'll notice that this is the empty tool crib. So this is a great opportunity to just overwrite this tool crib and create your own. So you'll see if I go down to tool crib two, there's multiple different tools in this tool crib already. So the first one I've got here is tool crib one. So we're just gonna overwrite this tool crib. If I wanted to create an extra tool crib, I can use the new option here and that would create a fourth tool crib. I also have the option of creating a copy of a tool crib, or again, I can edit this tool crib and make it my own. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose edit. I'm going to enter a new name for my tool crib. So this is my Haas VF3 tool crib, and I can choose how many stations I actually want to set this to. So it's currently set to 20. The reason why I'm going to change this to a larger number is because if I set this to 20 and I try to put 21 tools in here, it won't actually let me. So I'm going to set this to a high number, say 500 for example, and then I'll never hit that limit. So in order to save my settings as this new Haas VF3, I need to make sure that I choose the checkbox here that says save. So I'm gonna choose that option and now all of my settings have been saved. This is now the Haas VF3 tool crib. So to add tools to this, I'm gonna to come to the right hand side here and I'm gonna choose the drop down called add and I'm gonna select the tool type that I wanna add first. So I might select a face mill first. It's gonna open up my face mill page and I'm gonna choose the tool that I want. So let's say for example, I want the 50 millimeter face mill. I can go ahead and make changes to that tool I don't recommend changing this in this window because then you're changing what the actual SOLIDWORKS CAM database is set to. I would create a new tool and then add that in instead or adjust the tool after I've added it to my tool crib. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the select option here. And now that I've got that selected here, I can go ahead and make changes to the actual ID on the right hand side. So I can set this to my station number one. If I have a substation number, I can set that up in here. If I have an actual ID number, maybe you have an ID number for each tool in your shop, you can easily add that in here. The tool type is the face mill. So that's again the drop down that we selected to choose the type of tool. And this is the tool ID from that face mill page. We've got multiple offsets that we can change underneath there. And then we can actually type in any kind of key parameters to let us know exactly what this tool is. So if I want to actually name this tool, I can add that in here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and save my changes. And now you'll see that I've got my first tool in here. Then I would go ahead and add in my second tool. Maybe I want a flat end mill. I can go into my flat end mill page and choose the flat end mill that I want to add. So if maybe I want a 12 millimeter flat end mill, I can choose that. I can choose select. And now I've added in my flat end mill. I'm gonna change this to station number two and then I'll go ahead and save that tool as well. So now I've got two different tools inside my tool crib. If I close out of my tool crib and come into my tool tree inside of SOLIDWORKS CAM, I'm gonna go ahead and select that tool crib. So I'm gonna right click on the tool crib, choose edit definition, and then I'm going to select my Haas VF3 tool crib, choose select from the top here, and now you'll see that I've got the two tools that I added in here. So again, if I do want to make changes to any of these tools, I can select the tool, and then I can choose Edit Tool from this window. This allows me to make changes to that tool now that it's been added to my tool crib. So it's not actually changing the tool from the database, but it's going ahead and changing the actual tool inside this tool crib. Once you've made these changes, you wanna make sure that you choose the Save Tool Crib button. What this does is it actually saves it back to the database so that it's going to save all of the different settings that you change within these tools. 
If you do want to remove a tool or update any of these tools, you can easily use the options below here. Just again, make sure that you choose Save Tool Crib. So there's my tool crib. And again, if I right click on that tool crib within the tool tree, I can go ahead and make changes to that tool crib from within this window as well. So I can actually save the tool crib back to the database just by right clicking on the actual tool crib name. In today's video, we covered how to create your own custom tool crib within SolidWorks CAM and how to select that tool crib within your program. Thanks for watching.